Hi, my name is Rex Southwick. I'm a painter based in London, England. Living in Palm Springs definitely gave me a different perspective on A, the place, and B, how I interacted with people that lived and worked there. And it, that had a huge impact on my work because living there, you become aware of how landscape crews, installers, builders sort of battle with landscape in a mission to tame it, which I don't think I really appreciated when I was here. And it's a funny thing, and I think in Europe it's with much a longer history of editing landscapes and it's sort of come to the point where in the West you can't really tell if a landscape is edited. Very sort of picturesque, stereotypical English landscapes actually aren't very natural at all. I think when the Romans arrived in England it was 98% woodland England. And so now you sort of think of these great big like pastoral scenes of rolling fields and sheep gray. It is actually it's completely man-made. Someone else asked me, is there a reference to cinema? And I think not directly. I mean, some of the houses are cinematic homes. They're, they're built to sort of be sort of performative, more so than um, European homes, which are built to be private. They're very outward looking houses. You can see straight through them. Some of the paintings do have references to Native American artifacts and workers. A lot of the people I paint actually are local. They're indigenous peoples, which you might not realize. Some of the settings of the houses are old Native American sites, and some of the paintings have, they call them like mocajetes. It's like a granite slab with holes drilled in where they used to grind down nuts. So I sort of put them in as a reference to that and as a nod to Palm Springs having a deeper history than, than face value than of a mid-century home. So you have the glamour in mid-century and the immaculate gardens and then you have the reality of it you have the reality of the place you have the workers the maintenance the sun the heat stuff dying stuff being ripped out now we live in an age where everything is super presentable everything is everything online is presented and it's filtered and you get this very sort of glamorized warped vision of places which i certainly did have and then the reality is that there is this flip side there is a lot of labor immigrant labor there's a lot of native communities that don't have jobs there. It's interesting because I think it's a place that has many faces and it has sort of very iconic visuals which I like because you can alter people's perceptions of somewhere if it's something you think you know and then you present it very differently suddenly it sort of grounds it it's suddenly not glamorized and it there's sort of a, a grittiness to it and a reality that places do have that people either forget or choose to forget.